This is the Benz Victoria, built by German automobile pioneer Karl Benz over 100 years ago. Today, Karl Heinz Rehkopf, dressed for the occasion, is taking the vintage ride for a spin. It even has a regular license plate. This old timer is street legal. This is the vehicle that passed down its genes to all other cars. The unique thing about this car is that it's the oldest one still allowed on German roads. Needless to say, the vintage Benz Victoria has its quirks. This isn't a steering wheel, but more a steering arm. I'll move it. And there's a curious kind of indicator that shows you in which direction the car will go. And then I have a small lever that I control with my left hand to accelerate. This car has two gears. And when I want to brake, I need to get out of gear quickly so that I'm in neutral. Then I can use either my foot brake or my hand brake to my left. I have two horns, one that I squeeze and a so-called klaxon that I control with my foot. Karl Heinz Rehkopf bought the vintage car in 2009. Until then, it had been in the possession of the well-to-do Gutemann family for four generations. In fact, one former owner even managed to get the first ever speeding ticket in this car for going through town at an eye-watering 29 kilometers an hour. Well, going top speed does feel like the car is really at its limit. The steering arm and everything doesn't feel very stable. Whenever the car struggles, you struggle with it. And when it rains, you both get wet. You obviously want to avoid that. It's rare that Karl Heinz Rehkopf takes this vintage car out on the road. Usually, it can be admired at a transport museum near Göttingen. Michael Marx, the museum's mechanic, knows exactly how to fix Victoria if something's not working as it should. Here you can see the piston. It's a big one. It's got a three-liter engine. You can see it running. Unlike cars today, simply turning the ignition isn't enough to start it up. First, you need to pull a few levers and adjust the engine settings to the weather conditions so it runs smoothly. As you can imagine, depending on the weather, temperature, humidity, and air pressure, you need to fiddle around pretty long until the engine runs properly. In April 2019, they took Benz Victoria for a technical inspection to see if it was safe to drive on German roads. After an in-depth inspection, the car was given the go-ahead. But only under a few conditions, as car mechanic Burkhard Niemitz explains. The car doesn't have any electrical wiring, so hazard warning lights were not retrofitted, which usually is required. And the car doesn't have blinkers. That means the car may only be driven in daytime, in good weather conditions. And the driver must carry a signaling disc. Rehkopf's wife is usually in charge of the signaling disc whenever the two go out for a ride. Though the car isn't really built for long-distance travel anyway, its tiny tank quickly runs out of gas. Besides, it doesn't run on ordinary fuel, but rather on petroleum ether, which these days you can only get in pharmacies. But even with a full tank, you won't get anywhere fast. I guess this is about embracing slowness. It's not about reaching your destination per se, but about enjoying the ride itself.